guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. This is a bonus video. Um, today I am filming a fall porch decorate video. So this morning I went shopping for just, I wanted to get some moms, some pumpkins and a few little things. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx and Walmart. I think I hit up a Dollar General and also found a couple of yard sales. So I thought I would do an extra video because I haven't done a haul video in a while, honestly, because I haven't been shopping. I've been so busy working and I was sick, so I haven't had time to shop. I really haven't bought much. So um, I had a little bit of time this morning and I went shopping and um, I'm really looking forward to fall it's kind of tough to do this morning when i left out it was 60 degrees and that was so nice i loved it i can't wait for fall but it's already inching up on about 85 degrees out here now but that's better than 95 right so we're getting there um so i'm just gonna show y'all what i got today and um spend a little bit more money than i probably ever have as far as decorating because I have always been in the mindset of I go into the stores to look at what's there and get ideas and get creative because I look at something I'll say I can make that for a lot less or I can make that or that's a really cute idea but I would like to do this instead today I went with a little bit of different mindset because I don't have time to make that. I wish I did. I wish I wasn't at work 50 hours a week, but I am. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna buy some stuff that I really love and I'm gonna, one, I'm gonna use it for my porch decorating video. Two, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use it for a haul video. I'm gonna decorate my house with it. So I'm going to enjoy looking at it. Three, Next year, I'll put it up, and next year, I can sell it in my booth and get my money back for it, and for it's a tax write-off for my business. So, I tried to look at it that way instead of I'm spending way too much money decorating here, which is what I've always done, and I've just always done things the thrifty way, which is not bad. I still do that. But today, I went in with a little bit of a different mindset, so y'all are gonna see some way higher prices than I would have paid normally. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul. sales first I went to the yard sales last but I'm going to show you what I got there first one of the things that was definitely on my list today was some throw pillows for the porch pillows are super expensive and yes I can make them I have some fabric I have a sewing machine there's even patterns you can do without sewing but I didn't have time as I said before and so I was gonna buy some very inexpensive throw pillows well that didn't happen. I ended up going to TJ Maxx. Of course, you know, their throw pillows are not cheap. And then I went to Walmart and I got some there. And I'll be daggum if I didn't stop at a yard sale on the way home and I got three pillows for $5. And they are so cute. I got these two uh, flannel pillows. Um, they are perfect for fall. I love the green pillow, the green color. Um, flannel's not my favorite thing to snuggle with, but I think that they would be great on the porch. I've got two chairs over there and this little love seat here. So I have plenty of places to put throw pillows. So um, these were marked $5 for the pair, but it was getting near noon and they were getting hot out there. So they were um, taking, you know, suggestions for prices. So I suggested that they throw in this cute little fall truck for the five dollars so I got all three pillows for five dollars this one was marked ten dollars by itself it's got dog hair all over it or cat hair but it still has the tag on it so they obviously never used it and it's got my favorite black and white on it so you know I couldn't resist 
So I thought that was a great buy and I wouldn't have had to buy another pillow today, but I had already bought three others. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all those now while we're on the pillows. Okay, I got two pillows from Walmart. They didn't have a lot of like inexpensive fall pillows. You know how they'll usually have like a big bin with like $5 pillows in it. That was what I was originally gonna get because they're just gonna be a throw out here on the porch. But uh, I couldn't find any. I don't know if they haven't put them out or if they're sold out or if I just couldn't find them. But um, I did pay, I think this one was $10 for this one. This The great thing about both of these two pillows is they can be used year round because they have the yellows and the pinks, but I thought they would be great for a fall too. These weren't even in with the fall decor. These were just with the Walmart pillows. So this one says love on it and it has some plaid design there. And I love the um, back of it also. It's just the um, beige color. I think this one was 11 something. I should have brought my receipts out here because it doesn't say on some of these Walmart tags. And I had one of these, it said something similar to this, and it was one of my favorite couch snuggle pillows for a long time. Um, this one does unzip, so that's great. It can be washed. This one does not, which I think is what actually ended up happened to the other pillow. Something got spilled on it, or it got some kind of stain on it that I just couldn't get off. So this will probably go on the couch in the house. I'm not sure, but I love this yellow color. And again, it can be used for fall or summer too. So I've got those two pillows at Walmart. And the favorite pillow that I bought today was at TJ Maxx and I paid $24 for it. But this pillow is so beautiful, y'all. I just sold a pillow very similar to this in my booth for $25. So I'm certain that I can get that next year for this one if I don't want to keep it. Um, but it's not, I guess, yes, it's embroidered and it's got like a velvety pattern in with the embroidery. And it's so pretty. And again, I love the beige color and the burnt orange. These are definitely the color palette that I'm loving this fall. I'm very colorful when it comes to fall. I love to look at the very neutral colors in other people's houses and in their videos with them decorating those. But when it comes to actually doing it, and this happens at Christmas too, I go for the very, you know, the oranges, the greens, the yellows. I want a very colorful fall colors in my decor. For some reason, those are just what I'm drawn to. And, um, I just think they're classic and I love it. Like I said, I love to see the neutral colors. I think they're beautiful too. But every time I start my own, I just gravitate towards the colorful. So those are the pillows that I got. And this is definitely my favorite. My whole reason for going today was to get some mums. Um, again, I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money on mums. So I just got the cheap ones. I've already got a plan of some things to put these in maybe do some combinations. I'm not sure. So I got two yellows. I got two purples and I got two orange moms at Walmart. They were $5.24 each. So that was a pretty good deal. I got two white pumpkins and one um, regular pumpkin. I'll probably get some stackable pumpkins later on at the pumpkin patch or something like that. But for now, I just went with um, three live pumpkins. Okay, um, at another yard sale that I went to, um, somebody handmade this. It's basically an arrow out of some wood. Um, they're already put together. Each of them already have their hanger, and it was $5, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I'm going to have to sand it. They didn't sand it, which is fine, but I'm probably going to sand it and maybe paint the three of them a different color, but they're ready to go. So might even have, might even put some transfers on them. This is not necessarily going to be a fall flip or anything, but um, I couldn't help but pick those up at that yard sale. Okay guys, so right here, unbeknownst to me, my phone all of a sudden started filming in some sort of slow motion. Um, I was able to speed up the video visual portion so you can see what I'm showing you, but I never could get what I'm saying 
and where you could understand what I'm saying. So what I'm going to try to do is show you the things on the screen here and try to remember what I said and um, tell you guys what I bought and how much I paid for it. I absolutely believe that this some is some kind of Apple conspiracy trying to get me to upgrade my phone, even though I just really want to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so while I was at Walmart, I got a few of these pumpkins and pigs. They were like a dollar or dollar twenty-eight or something like that a piece. I figured there's always somewhere I can stick some of these. I put most of the ones that I had in other places in my house and in the booth, so I kind of needed some. I had to go in Dollar General because I forgot to get laundry detergent at Walmart. And while I was in there, I saw this cute black and white throw. It's the buffalo check pattern, which y'all know, I can't have a holiday without buying something buffalo check because it's one of my favorites. So I got this throw. Um, it's got the cute little frillies on the end and it was $15 at Dollar General. Okay, the stuff that I got from TJ Maxx, I got this green floral-like pumpkin. It is so pretty. I thought it was pretty fat, fragile, but it's doing really well, holding up really well so far in the car and the bags with everything. It's like little bitty pieces of floral, and it's got like just natural sticks for the stem. I think it was $14.99, which like I said, paid a little more for things than I would have but it's just so cute and that green color is just gorgeous i also got this beautiful burnt orange um velvety pumpkin it's really big it's another one of those things that yeah i could have made but um, i went ahead and bought this one i just love how rich the texture and all of the velvet is i believe it was also 14 15 dollars and look how beautiful those colors look together. I also got one of these blown glass pumpkins. I have been wanting one of these forever. I've seen them all over the place. This one was $12.99, but just look how pretty that is. I just love the stem on it the curly stem and everything this is going to be pretty fragile and not going to be left out on my porch obviously it is going in my house one of the first things i saw when i went in tj maxx is this really cute um, turkey shelf sitter he's got metal he's got wood he's just so cute he was $7.99 and i went ahead and picked him up i just thought he was perfect and I needed another wreath for my porch. I have two places I want to hang them out here. So I got this one with the dried florals on it. I guess that's wheat or whatever. And it's the three different colors. This one was $24 or maybe $19.99. Sorry, not looking at the tag right now as I'm filming this the next day. Because, of course, I had put everything away by the time I realized that my phone had made this critical error. So I think that's everything that I got. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Sorry for the technical problems. Um, this, this is a bonus video, like I said, so there will be another video Wednesday. Not sure if it's going to be um, a fall mantle decorate or a front porch fall decorate because those are both things that i'm working on so which whatever one that i get edited first will be the one so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys on wednesday wish i could remember what i was saying there but oh well <laughs>